everyone, so today's video is one that I've been really excited to film. I thought about doing this when I sort of started going through the Sephora website, trying to narrow down my, I guess, my choices for the VIB sale that happened recently. And I knew that I wanted to take advantage of that sale and try one of the Visart palette, Visart, however you pronounce it. So I decided to choose one that I felt like I could use more often than the other ones. There are several different color ranges as far as like the palettes are concerned, but I got the neutral matte one. And this is all completely matte. There's no satins or shimmers or metallics, nothing in that. So it's just a basic matte palette that is full of all of your sort of basic colors that you're going to need. Your transition colors, your crease shades. Um, really nice warm tones, a couple gray cooler tones, and then a nice black. So I thought, because this item is a very high ticketed item, it's $80 for the, this palette or any of the other Visor palettes, I thought, okay, I can justify it because I got the 20% off on it, but how can I make this go a little further for me than just eyeshadow? So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use Visor in multiple different sort of techniques or in different aspects of your makeup just so you guys can see how you can you know all the ways Visart um, can be this Visart palette can be used so I decided to do the entire eye is all matte I've used this palette as you will see in the tutorial for my bronzer my contour setting my under eye concealer my brows highlighting and I've basically replaced five different products uh, with this one palette. So I've done my eyeshadow, my eyebrows, set my concealer, highlight, contour, and bronze. So actually six products total that I've replaced with just this one palette. So for me it sort of makes it a little bit more worth it, especially with the 20% off. I mean it's much more affordable at that point. But if you wanted to get this without the discount because the VIB sale is over, Unfortunately, if you are considering this, this is an $80 palette. So I wanted to show you how you can use this for multiple aspects of your makeup so that you're not confined to just using this as eyeshadow. I know makeup artists probably have these and they've probably mixed this with other products and mixed colors within this to uh, create custom colors and that's the whole beauty of makeup. You can mix and do whatever you want. Makeup is art so I figured why not? Another thing that you could do is you could mix some of these shades to create like a setting powder for your foundation if maybe you forgot one and you're traveling or you're just you're doing a client, maybe you're a makeup artist or just in general like an everyday person like me and you want to use some of these to maybe set your foundation or anything like that. You can mix these colors together and don't feel like you're just limited to using them in just the eyeshadow. So I hope that you guys enjoy this type of video. Let me know if you want to see more um, palettes or more tutorials <laughs> using this. I do have plans on getting some of the other ones sometime whenever they have another VIB sale. I might might pick up another one. So I'm going to use it more, give you a review, but let's get started with this tutorial. Alright, so the first thing that I'm going to do to start this look off is apply the white color all over my lid up to the brow bone and I wasn't expecting it to be as pigmented as it was and so it just, it does look a little crazy but I went back and and I mixed in a different shade, which is uh, like the softer peach that's right next to the white in the palette, just to kind of tone it down a little bit because as you can see here, it's very, very intense. So here's that very soft peach. It's a very subtle wash of peach, but it, I feel like it made some sort of a difference here. So next I'm going to take this light tan color on a Sigma E25 brush and I'm going to start defining my crease just to add a little bit of depth to this look and really highlight my uh, crease area by starting off with a lighter wash of color. We're going to add some more darkness and more depth here in a little bit but I'm just following my natural shape of my crease. I'm not doing anything really special with the shape of the shadow, just following like I said, my natural crease, and I feel like this brush helps apply the color and also help blend as well. And I'm going to go in with the two peach colors on a pointed crease brush, and I'm going to add just a little bit of warmth to the look with those two colors. And the whole look came together rather quickly because everything sort of blends very, very easily. So I'm just using two different shades of peach just because the darker one is just a little too dark for the look that I was going for that day, so I used the lighter one. And then I'm going to go back in with the white and that soft peach that I used at the beginning of the video to go around and clean up my edges. Then I'm deepening up the crease just to make it a little bit darker and more intense 
with a darker brown. This one is a bit cooler than the one that I used, but when they blend together, it just looks so pretty. And I'm using a Mikasa brush, and I believe, let me see, it is the E300 brush, which I really, really enjoy using for the crease. All right, so moving on to the lid, I'm taking two of the peach colors, the lighter two, and I'm gonna be applying that with an eyeshadow brush onto the lid just because I wanted to add a little bit of color and you don't have to really if you follow along the way I did it because that sort of white with that soft peach at the beginning was pretty intense to begin with, but I wanted just to kind of add just a subtle, I guess, hint of peach to the lid. Then I'm gonna take that same tan shade that I used at the beginning for the crease and I'm gonna take it on a pencil brush and start defining my lower lash line. And again, I'm just making sure that the colors on the lower lash line also connect up to the outer V of my crease. So there's just one seamless sort of look. And as you'll see here in a minute, I'll show you. Then I'm gonna take that same darker color and go right over that. As you can see the motion of my brush, just to make sure that it connects and there isn't a gap between the outer edge of my upper eye area and then the lower lash line, if that makes sense. Then with the white, I'm going to highlight. I just use a clean pencil brush. This is one from Zoeva that I really like and I feel like it does the job. <laughs> and going back in with that light tan color and this time I'm switching to a very pointed crease brush. And again, another brush from Zoeva. Just to sort of intensify the look and start darkening the crease exactly where I want it and that's what I love about that pointed crease brush. It's, it's so perfect. And then again, some more blending. As I've said a million times before in plenty of my videos, you have to blend really well. Then I'm taking this other brown shade, the same one that I used for the crease, on a Sonia Kashuk brush, and I'm going to be applying this to the outer third of the eye. Just I don't know, I just wanted to add a little bit more richness and more depth to the look, so I just chose to use a small, smallish eyeshadow brush. Then I'm going back in with a pencil brush, and I'm picking up the darkest brown. It's a bit of a kind of warm undertone to it so it's really really pretty very pigmented and I'm going to again deepen up the outer V and then also the outer edges of the lower lash line just to create a very smoky look it's what I've been wearing a lot just really rich on the outer corners of the eye and I just love the effect that it gives so you can again customize this to your preference you can skip the step add more add less whatever you want and then here I am going with a clean brush and just softening out all the edges now moving on to the liner. I'm using a black pencil liner. I'm going to tight line with that and also just kind of quickly run it really close to the root of my lash because I'm going to be going in here in a minute with a angled brush and I'm going to be softening out the edges really quickly before that liner sets because once that Art and CN liner is completely dry, it doesn't move. I, it's, it's really great. I like it a lot. Then with the black shadow of the palette, I'm going to go over that line and just sort of intensify it but at the same time, it's more intense but soft. <laughs> I know that doesn't make any sense, but I just really like how it came out. And then I'm going to take a pencil brush here in a minute. Here we go. And I'm going to soften out the edges just to create it soft and smoky so that there isn't a harsh line. And it's really pretty, and this is a great way to make the black liner a little softer for daytime. And then these are the mascaras that I'm using to complete today's eye look and I will have them listed in the description box for you. And here's that mascara, by the way, from the Sephora Favorites and how it applies. It's a really nice everyday mascara, and this is the completed eye. Time for some brows. Giving them a good comb through with a spoolie. Taking an angled brush by Zoeva. Love this brush for brows. And I'm going to go in with this shade right here from the palette. And I'm going to start just applying that. And I usually skip my brows in pretty much every video because it does take me a while. I'm really meticulous about the shape of my brows. And I like a fuller brow. As you can see, this color is very, very pigmented. And it may seem kind of off if you look at the color of the brow uh, or the powder in comparison to the color of my brows. They're not the same. But the overall look is what I like because of the fact that this color has a bit of warmth and it pulls in some red from my hair and it just works. 
if I were to match my actual brow hairs, which are almost black, it'll look like I took a marker or a black eyeliner and drew on my brows. And that is not cool. Then it would not be eyebrows on fleek at that point. <laughs> And for the majority of the brow uh, fill-in, I use the same shade. And I will go in with a little bit of a deeper shade, which I do. Even if I wasn't using this palette, I have two shades that I use for my brow. So I'm going to take this dark brown, and I'm going to mix it with the lightest, kind of like a creamy, beigey peach color. I'm going to mix it on the back of my hand just to kind of soften it. And then I'm going to go in and fill the top part and the underside of my brow. And I've done brow tutorials before in the past. They're I mean, it's pretty much the same still, but if you guys want to see an updated routine, please let me know because I will be more than happy to do that for you. All right, so contour and bronze, going back into that light tan. We're using this color a lot, if you've noticed that. <laughs> and I'm going to take this little tiny brush from Tarte that came in the Sephora Favorites, and I like using that brush to apply a really potent amount of contour right to where your contour should start, which is pretty much at the tops of your ear, coming down towards your mouth, but not all the way. And it's going to apply a lot of products because that brush is so dense. Uh, but I am blending it out with an e.l.f. I believe this is an angled contour brush from e.l.f. And I'm going to soften that out. As you can see, that's how easy it is to contour with this palette. And it blends out so easy. Then with the e.l.f. complexion brush, I'm taking this sort of warm brown. And that's going to be my bronze shade. And I'm going to just sort of warm up my skin a bit. Because I am pretty pale. So I do recommend that you use a smaller brush. Um, I love this brush for bronzing and powder and contour. It's awesome for only three bucks. It's amazing, but it's too big for this palette. So use something really small and then just sort of take your time with it. Highlighting time. So this is the last way of using the Visor palette for today's video and I'm taking the white on an e.l.f. brush. I believe this is the under eye setting brush. If not, I will have it listed down below. And I'm going to go over my concealer. And I'm also going to be highlighting in that sort of triangle under the eye. And as you can see, it does give me a very highlighted effect without adding any shimmer. And I'm using this basically down the center of my nose and over in my cupid's bow. And then I'm going to also perfect my contour lines by taking a little bit of that white just to clean up any mistakes that I may have had. As you can see, that white color, since it's so potent, it does highlight. And of course, you can do a little bit of a sheen or shimmer over that. But it's so easy to use that one palette for all of the steps that I showed you today. So here's a look at the eyes again. Very smoky, but soft at the same time. Very wearable, very everyday. You could add a little shimmer on the lid if you wanted to or on the lower lash line. But I just love the way... This whole eye look came together and it blended out pretty easily and I would have to say I'm really impressed so far with this palette. Alright and here is the full face the look, the overall look and how it came out. I'm really impressed. I feel like, I don't know, I just really like it and you'll be seeing more of this palette in future videos. Alright so I hope that this video was helpful. I had fun. I was very challenged to find ways to make this work for me and I hope that it made it a little bit I guess more justifiable I guess I don't know I mean for me I cringe at the fact that I spent eighty dollars on this palette or less actually but that's why I didn't get it beforehand because it is expensive now I I have mentioned the Sonia Kashuk um, I think it's Ion Neutral Matte Palette I think that's what it's called but the Sonia Kashuk one from Target has a palette very similar to this. Unfortunately, I have mine packed up so I can't, you know, look at the colors exactly to compare it. But I did get that palette because I didn't want to pay $80 for this one. And I found online that some people said that that kind of gives you a feel for what this is like as far as sim similar tones. I wouldn't say it's an exact dupe. Um, I don't think it is. I would definitely have to report back on that. So I will be doing some swatches in comparison very soon but if you wanted to get something similar to this or get some shadows that are kind of similar 
like in the setup as far as all matte with similar tones. That Sonia Kashuk one might be something you'd be interested in. I believe that one's $20 at Target and you can also get it on Target.com which I will link to that below just in case you wanted something similar without breaking the bank, you know? So, anyways, I will be reviewing this very soon. I'm going to use it some more and kind of get a feel for all of the colors and see if I can come up with other ways to use this. And I will definitely share that with you guys. So, thank you guys so much for tuning in for this video and being here with me today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. If you are, thank you so much for your support. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. It's at Glamour by Lexi. And if you are interested in my life off camera, I have Snapchat that will be down in the description box. So expand that so you can get all the info and everything that I use in the tutorial will be listed down below with the links as well. And have a fabulous day. Bye-bye.